Welcome back to another video. My name's Aaron and I help people expand their consciousness. Now this video is going to be a technique to increase your energy levels and it's something that you can use throughout your day as like a pick me up. And it's really something I came across today because uh, I'll just give you a little backstory. I'm working a sales commission job, which means that I get paid in correlation to like the amount I sell. So it's like I can't just rely on the hourly. And what what happened today was the last like week or two, I've been in what's it called a calorie deficit, which means that my intention has been to uh, lose a little bit of weight, like shred down a little bit. So what that means is that I have to burn more calories than I'm consuming, and it, I. I had to drop down a lot of the carbs that I was eating because I was just eating way too many carbs. So what I did was is I did that like last week and um, I've noticed that my energy levels have at first risen a little bit but there are times when they kind of plow down a little bit like when I don't feel like I have that much energy. And I realized that today when I was at work because I was at work and um, I was selling and I just realized that like I just felt like my energies were low. I felt very fatigued like mainly because I'm eating like probably 30% of what I used to eat in the morning. I used to think I had to eat so much in order to like maintain my energy levels all day and I rationalized it because I'm like oh I go to the gym every day, I'm always in the sauna so it's okay. But I realized that I had to cut that down so I'm not eating as much and because of that my energy levels were low. Well today at work I felt like they were really low, um, I felt very hungry, I was drinking a lot of water and I realized I was walking around and I was just paying a lot of attention to like my body language. Like I was really aware, um, I wasn't until I became aware of it so I was like walking around all day until I came to this point and I realized that I had a certain pattern of like how I would walk around, how I would talk and like uh, approach people. And what changed was, is I just thought about it, I was like, let me like kind of snap out of it and let me just walk around as if I had a lot of energy. So it goes back to a technique that I've shared before and I'll link it below on the power of acting as if. So what I did was is I walked around and I acted as if I just had a lot of energy. Now the funny thing was that within a couple, like a minute of doing it, I started to feel energized and then I remembered a lot of like Tony Robbins work where he talks about how we must change our physiology to change our state of being and um, it was an instant technique that gave me a whole bunch of energy and that lasted as long as I just kept acting like that and it wasn't it didn't feel like I was acting it and like faking it it felt like I was just matching my physiology up and realizing that my physiology was affecting my state of being and this also goes back to a talk that I've talked about many times and that is the Amy Cuddy TED Talk about how body language shapes who we are and body language can also change our mind. So it's not just about like the law of attraction or thinking about what we want, it can also be about lining up our body language to us being who we prefer to be and allowing that to then affect our state of being. And remember, as I say a lot, it's not so much the circumstances that are important, it's simply the state of being and the state of being will influence the circumstances whereas we normally think that the circumstances must influence the state of being. So we need to switch it around and the easiest way of doing that is simply changing physiology, changing the way we carry ourselves, changing our body language. And I also recently did a video on using our body language with the law of attraction, which you can see that it's a very similar idea. But if you want a quick pick me up throughout your day, all you have to do is starting to act as if. This will also subconsciously change your breathing patterns. You could also just take some deep breaths in and breathe a little bit more deep instead of shallow which will happen when we have low amounts of energy or depending upon what we're thinking about. Change your breathing, change and start to act as if you do have energy, which for me meant walking around in a different way, a little bit more body posture, greeting people from a more alert state, like almost as I did that, it became easier for me to do what I call 
hold the frame. Hold the frame simply means that as I was walking around and acting as if, I would keep that going. I would just keep it flowing and I wouldn't stop it uh, and be like, no, remember, I need to jerk myself back to what's real to me. What's real to me or that state of being of feeling like I had low energy was only real because I was attached to it and I was matching my body language to it. The moment I started to act as if I had a lot of enthusiasm, had a lot of energy, my body language began to match up with it, that's where that all began to align. So use this technique in order to give yourself a little shot of energy. You don't need no stimulants. You don't need anything other than the ability for you to link up to that. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Feel free to like it if you liked it, subscribe if you haven't already, and as always, I will see you guys on the next vid. Peace, much love, namaste. All right, bye.